plus size luxury welcome back to my channel so we have two things that we wanted to do today we're going to do a small unboxing of a Chanel wallet I bought from fashion file and then I also wanted to do a comparison of that wallet compared to a couple of pieces that I've had for a lot longer the LV business card holder and then the classic Chanel card holder so let's jump right into the unboxing Welcome back. So before we jump into the next parts of this video, I did want to say I'm nearing 100 subscribers. I'm really excited. So thank you so much for your support and encouragement. I just wanted to let you guys know that at 100 subscribers, I'm definitely going to do a giveaway. I haven't really determined the prize yet. I think I wanted to do like maybe a $50 gift card to either Fashion File or maybe like $50 PayPal Cash or something like that just to give thanks and give back to you guys for all your support. So if you could just remember to like, comment, and subscribe, I'll do an announcement video when I hit 100 subscribers. Okay, so um, we're gonna cover the three items that we have today. So the first one was the item that you just saw that I unboxed. So looking down at my notes, so this is called the Chanel Reissue Compact Wallet. I don't have the exact season or collection this was from, but this is from 2020. Um, it retails between seven to nine hundred dollars. I purchased this for five hundred and eighty-five dollars on Fashion File, and I thought that was a really good deal. I'll put the dimensions on the bottom of the screen, but the uh, leather that this is—let me close this. The leather of this is a metallic calfskin. Sorry, I had to step away. Whenever I'm in here filming, the cats are just like, "What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there?" And they like are meowing at the door the entire time. <laughs> so. I had to go put them in the bedroom for a second. Okay, so going back to what I was talking about. So the second item that we're gonna cover today is the Louis Vuitton business card holder. I purchased this for $388.80 back in January of this year. So this product, it retails for about $360. I'm just gonna read the description that I found online. This is in black monogram imprint embossed supple grained cowhide leather, grained cowhide leather lining, gold color hardware, press stud closure, card slot, and gusseted compartment. So the next item is my Chanel card holder. I purchased this for, I believe, $575. Let me check the receipt here. So yeah, so this is from 21K. It says for $575. Uh, this was about $25 more because it had sort of the special hardware on here, I believe, and then the metallic grain made it a little bit more special. So I think the regular ones are about $25 less. I'll put the dimensions of this across the screen, and I purchased this, I believe, let's see, what does the receipt say? Oh, okay, so it says 9-9-21, so back in September of last year. So these are the three that we're going to go into. So right now I'm going to get behind the camera, we're going to go a little bit closer so you can see how many cards fit into each of these items, and then let's come back for final thoughts. So I just wanted to get um, a little closer so you can see the wear. This has like a little scuff on here, I don't know how to get that out unfortunately. And then there's some wear on the corners there, so definitely with the metallic it um, does show some wear then this um, there's been no wear on there oh I think there's a little makeup on there I'm sorry but there's been no significant wear to the glazing everything looks pristine so far um, there are scratches on the button but that's normal looks pretty good and then on the inside as well that's fine oh and I didn't show you the inside of this so uh, no scuffs or scratches on the inside, a little indentation right here from where it closes, and then, is that a scratch right there? I can't tell, 
maybe a small scratch right there and then the entire inter internal lining it looks completely fine so that's all good and then this was in brand new condition so I don't see any wear on this I just got this obviously and I don't think the previous owner actually used it so looks like it's in good good condition there maybe a little scuff right there and then yeah that all looks good so I have about uh, 15 cards here so in the card holder you can fit can you fit 15 cards let's see if that will close so you can fit 15 cards in here but that's definitely a bit of a tight squeeze let me try just 10 so we have 10 cards in here that's a better fit so I think you can fit about 10 cards um, if you want to put one card in the front here, yeah, so fits about 10 cards. Alright, and then going on to the next one, for the business card holder, I'm going to try another 10 cards in here. That seems to fit just fine. That fits very easy. Actually, let's add the other five and see how that goes. Okay, yeah, so you can fit, yeah, that's a perfect fit, actually. You can fit about 15 cards in the business card holder. And not counting that I didn't put anything in this, so maybe just one more card right there. But this, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's bursting. It feels like this is a perfect fit. Okay. All right, so for this one, it does have a section for cash. Sorry, it's gonna be a little tricky to do this in the camera. All right, so that, that basically fits in there. And then there are maybe one card slot there. I think most of the cards are supposed to go in this flap here. So let's start out with five, one second. So we'll start with five in here. Yeah, I think that is the maximum. It's closing maybe a little bit, maybe only four. It feels like it's bursting a little bit, but that's five cards in the front slot. And then I believe we can put cards under here. Let's see, can a card go in here? Not really. So I I think you're supposed to put the rest of the cards maybe in these back slots there. So each of these back slots behind the place for the cash, I think you can only fit, yeah, it feels like it's stretching it. So maybe one card per slot in these back section here. Kroger card. Let's try putting a Kroger card in here. So I guess you can put one card. Yeah, two cards too much. One card in here. And then let's try this one more time. Maybe because this is too full. So let's take out one card. Close that again. And are we able to put one card back behind here? Yeah, no, it just doesn't fit back there. <laughs> so, um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, and then we can fit five in here. So, and even, oh no, it can't even close. So let's <laughs> put that back in here. Something is 
not letting this close. Okay, that's better. All right, so we'll close this one, close this one. Okay, so, all right, let's, let's take stock. Let's just do a run through of what can fit in here. So in this front flap, we have, I think, three cards. Yeah, three cards in the front. We have nothing in here. We have nothing in here. We have one card here. We have a couple bills in here, and then we have two cards in the back. So that's one, two, three, um, four, five, six. So this is so funny. So this actually holds less cards than this or this. So <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, well. It is a compact wallet. Um, it's really cool though that I'm able to hold my cash. Actually, let's let's take out the cash and see if I'm able to fit any more cards. Because I'll be honest, you caught me on a day that I actually have cash. I don't typically carry any. I think that feels fine. Yes. Okay. So without the cash in there, I can do five cards in the front three in the single slots in the back and one here. So that is five, six, seven, eight, nine cards total. So still less and you can't fit any cash in there. Um, maybe if I put a single $20 bill, that would be fine since it's pretty thin. Oh no, yeah, isn't that crazy? Even that single dollar just makes it feel a bit full. So anyways, it does close, it doesn't seem to be straining too much. So that's it there. Pretty interesting, so this is the compact wallet. This is the smallest size wallet I've ever seen. That typically they have, um, I'll put the dimensions on the screen, but typically they're about an inch bigger than this. So this is the most compact wallet I think Chanel offers. And, um, but if you really wanna maximize your card space, although maybe not go for the metallic because of the wear on the corner. Um, the card holder seems to be the best bet, or if you want a Louis Vuitton option, this was super affordable was the business card holder. Well, I believe that each of these items have different purposes, and um, a lot of people say don't buy too many SLGs, and I agree, you don't wanna buy too many SLGs, and if your main focus is handbags, because then it's gonna like stop you from getting to your goal of like actually getting the handbags, but I think, you know, less than 10, I have about six SLGs total, um, is a good number for a beginner or starter collection. And I think that the Chanel card holder is one of the best items because it fits a lot more than you would think actually. It actually fits more than the compact wallet, which was a very, it was a surprise to me. I know this is like a very compact wallet, but this holds less cards than this which this holds less cards than this. So it just depends on if you're cash heavy or card heavy. I like the durability of the Empreinte leather. I think it is just because it's grained, because it's like, it can withstand anything. And I've had this, as I said, for about six months now, and I'm not seeing any glazing wear. There's a couple scratches on the button, but that's normal. And it really just looks like the day that I bought it. So I think this is a great buy. I actually wanna get the monogram canvas one, which I believe is around, I wrote this down, $295. So this was originally 360, and for the uh, canvas version to be slightly cheaper, I think it warrants having both in my collection if I wanted to switch it up because I think the canvas is as durable as the Empreinte leather. But anyway, so I think this is definitely like your everyday type card holder. This, because of the metallic calfskin, um, maybe this would just be something you wear on the weekends or something like that, but the regular ones or the caviar card holder, definitely a, a bit more hardy, a bit more durable than this particular version, but I like the capacity and I don't think you actually need a full size or even a compact wallet if you have the card holder because it fits so much. And then finally, I just always wanted to add a wallet to my collection. So, um, when I saw this, and it's about the same price that I paid, if not less than for the Chanel card holder in brand new pristine condition, I was like, I need to have it. So um, this is definitely, I would consider another sort of special occasion weekend wallet. This is not gonna be my everyday wallet because I am concerned about 
the corners wearing because it is that metallic sort of texture or color scheme they seem to not be as hardy as the caviar let's say and um, this is sort of the calf the calf skin so it's definitely more durable than lamb skin but not as durable as caviar so uh, it's just you know if you're going to use this every single day definitely get it in a more harder wearing leather but I think it's adorable I like the subtleness of the reissue style and yeah um, I'll definitely do sort of like an update in another six months on how this is wearing how much I like it and just the functionality of it okay well that's all I had thank you for watching so definitely be on the lookout for my subscriber celebration slash giveaway um, I'll definitely give more details in my announcement videos remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye see someone will let me edit and film today I'll play Hey, gonna smile for the camera? Yeah, she was not happy with me filming today. <laughs>